Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. It's been a minute since I've played and we are unpausing for the first time in a bit. So, Age of Absolutism is ending. We are very much over the, uh, the end of that. And so our Golden Era will last until 36. So, it seems that we are going to be wrapping up this campaign in the near future. Um, we want to try to rush down as many of these missions as we possibly can. But um, I think that this campaign, we've, we've gotten the achievements that we're going for. Well, Mary of Lotharingia, we will, we will get here whenever uh, this guy dies. Admittedly, I could just disinherit him, but for the achievement itself, but probably not worth worrying about. So I will start making the progress on uh, getting everything set out that we need to do here. So we are going to revoke the march from him. And we are going to revoke the march from France. Costly and stab, but that's okay. And we're going to improve relations with these boys. Let's see here, where are my diplomats? Improving relations with Bremen. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Let's improve relations with these boys. I will royal marry you. Money-wise, we are good. We are definitely good. Let's take a look at our great powers list. We have passed Spain, which I love to see because Spain has all of North America. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, Spain is still our ally, so we haven't even had to fight him. I do love this sort of partition of uh, the Papal State in Mantua. I do like that we also ended with the same dynasty that we started with. And Prussia here has some cores and some claims on Scandinavia, so it seems only fitting that we begin an attack on them. So let's let's wait till next month. Or one more month, rather. So we can sabotage his recruitment. Or slander his merchants, rather. We're going to take a lot of land from Scandinavia in this war. And Brandenburg, apparently. Whenever we can do that. Alrighty then. So Bremen will join us on this one. Sounds good. Portugal will join them. Don't care. Imperialism. We have lots of cannons over here. Let's, uh, is it worth building up to them? Where's my armies at? So we got you guys over there. Oh my gosh, my armies are so jacked up right now. Okay, so these guys here, that's fine. So... You guys with the general. Get you marching over here. You guys are just gonna be dedicated to piecing out Portugal. And then these guys here, once we have the manpower, Let's slacken standards and then get these guys in here. Get those cannons out of the way. We should probably get these guys marching home as well. We can include them in the next major stack there. We also have a stack over here, apparently. We have our boys ready. We were just all split up into a bunch of different random... Um... Yeah, that's not how we want to do that. Let's just have these guys hang back as a home guard. I'm not worried about Portugal. Looks like we're going to max out on admin. So rather than letting that happen, let's uh, do a wee little bit of dev. Get those guys all up to 20. How are we on tech? Way, way ahead on all of them. And we are done with admin ideas as well. Goodness gracious. Going crazy with our policies by the looks of it. Don't think we need that one. 40% trade efficiency, 50% trade efficiency. Diplo annexation cost, dev cost, land force limit. Yeah, I think we want all that stuff. Royal marry you. Let's also influence you. And we'll influence these guys as well. Nice, we just accidentally stack wiped a large chunk of uh, Portuguese men. Really? Where at? 
I assume it was these guys, yeah. That's pretty great. Um... We match them in maneuver. Continue converting everything. Looks like everything is a perfectly Protestant. That's a good, that's a, that's a nice map mode right there. I like that. Except for this. And a Catholic Albania. All right, cool. So we have these guys here. Have you guys group up together as well. And then these guys can go start working on Pope Man. Can't get over there apparently. It's fine. This is on defensiveness. Seems like all of this is on defensiveness, which is fine, honestly. Those siege ticks are long, drawn out, which is good. The longer it takes them to siege it down, the longer it takes us to um, longer, the, sh the shorter, the more time we have to get over there to beat them up, basically, is what I was trying to say. We'll be able to flank them as well. They'll have cannons in the front row. Very good. Go catch the 10 stack. They'll reinforce really late. Very good. No cannons in the front row quite yet. There we go. Not bad. Cool. Let's get on over there, siege that down. Age of Revolutions is on its way. We might go revolutionary. I haven't gone revolutionary yet, so... We'll see how that goes. As soon as we take his capital, we should be good to just piece him out, no big deal. Scandinavia sieging down some stuff over here. Right. Get you guys over there, get you guys over here. What's Rugen got going on? They're just a regular republic. Very cool. So we have some separatists over here. Let's have them suppressed for now. So I don't have to deal with it. You guys want out, I assume? Definitely. Something like this. This is fine. As soon as we siege down all this stuff, they'll want out of the war, no doubt. Okay, win those two sieges, and then we'll be able to piece them out. Portugal will get out. Give me war reps. That's good enough for me. Let Prussia get as strong as possible. Prussia's got 29 men already. So take a look at this. This is why you get a Prussian march if you can. Most morale in the world. Discipline is also up there. Admittedly, he could have better discipline. I wonder why he doesn't have good, better discipline. Let's see here. Oh, he's got like zero militarization. His absolutism is getting up. Yeah, he just doesn't have any militarization. Hmm. So let's also send him some money. We can definitely afford it. Let us send him some subsidies. Say like 11 ducats a month sounds good. That'll do plenty. And then we just need to get over onto Stockholm, and then that's basically it. I wish you would let me have the siege, but that's okay. Let's get him over there. No, 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 no. What in the actual world is that? No. We'll have to win this siege first. It's fine. If he pieces out Bremen, it's not a big deal. Like, how long have they been on this siege in Bremen? Over a year? If, if... I've gotten my money's worth just from having Bremen in this war. Let's actually see if we can force march over, get him off that before it wins it. 64%? Nice. We'll reinforce in time as well. Very good. So they don't have any provinces up there. Very 
Very good. Not bad at all. They've landed on London. Which is kind of funny. I have a four stack over here that I forgot about. So let's just get rid of them. Burger Separatists. Let's have these guys not pop. And then... Rugen can lock in over here. I'll just kill him in Lundberg. Easy peasy. First off, let's wipe out this whole six stack. You have no purpose of being there. Sure. Something like this. They're going to blockade that. There's nothing I can do about it because Scandinavia's galley fleet is going to be incredible. Uh, Pope Man is going to need to get pieced out soon, though. Oi. Forgot to get a general. Might need a general. That would be quite suicidal going in without a general in that fight. Now, instead, we get a stack wipe. <laughs> Very good. All right. So these guys are over here taking... Let's see if we can do something cheeky here. Oh, that's a lot of galleys. We're losing ships, which is pretty annoying. Look at that. How about that? That's pretty annoying that we're losing that. I feel like we shouldn't be. So those guys are taking an absolute whooping. Let's embrace institution here. They're locked in. Let's see if we can have a good defensive fight. Because remember, they they lost that fight, or won that fight. Aye, aye, aye. Now I'm actually getting beat up on by these guys over here now. I think they stack wiped one of my smaller stacks. I'd like for you guys to take a river crossing there. There we go. Looks like they're gonna not take the river crossing. Looks like we're losing this battle anyways, even though... Let's see here. Do we have a... We have a couple of naval batteries, but... Looks like it's just not enough. It's fine. Marvelous. Okay. Trading in coal. Just can't build any of these guys yet, apparently. We won Ferrara. Looks like we're about to win Roma. Let's win Roma first. Hopefully they don't attack me over there. That's definitely reckless. We've won Roma. Looks like France is going in over there, so I might as well back him up, yeah? gonna do it we might as well stack wipe his army yeah it looks like he doesn't want it to happen okay so let's get the Pope out null treaties with Scandinavia okay do I have claims on any of this land just over here sadly hmm Okay, I think just money is fine with me then. That's fine. Get you guys over here. Looks like we're about to max out on admin again. Get them all up to the next tier. Yeah, looks like we have a lot of 20 dev provinces. Look at that. Oh, it's so even. All right. Well, that's pretty much game over for this one, then. We're going to have you return this province to Prussia. And then what does he have? Claim He's got claims on all this, including Rugen. But we're not going to be able to get Rugen. No chance. Truce with them until when? Eh, quite a while. Okay. This is good news. Yeah, let's build a couple more heavies. 
What's our naval force limit? Big. Let's build a couple of lights. A couple more heavies. That'll do. Just fine. Definitely could use one over here. So let's get rid of... Let's get rid of the workshop and build this guy there. Basically, if he wants to be in our fleet range, he's going to have to, um, you know, deal with our... Going to have to deal with our naval batteries. So this is kind of dumb that he's... Those men appeared there. I don't know where they came from. All right, let's see here if we can... Stack wipe his little tiny stacks around here. I don't know where his little army went. Here they are. Get a reinforcement tick there. Let's go into the great unknown. So this is woods. This is actually a really good fight for us. Let's head on over that way. See if we can blockade him. Yikes. Big fight going on up here. He's got heavies and I don't, so. Oh, come on now. Absolute bummer. Do we have a flagship? We do not. Let's build one. Fleet morale. Engagement width and movement speed. Those are the ones that I like currently. I love this little straight here because it just always happens to be that they can run by and blockade you. Give them the monthly tick. Yeah, they're not going to give it. Yeah, they're probably going to head home. They're taking attrition. This is good. Catch this small stack out. It's his light ships. Very good. The more of his ships we sink, the better. We stole a ship there. Insult to injury, boy. So let's see if we can get on to Shaylin. Okay, well, this is fine. We just move as we can. Give him another monthly tick here to recover. Got some light ships coming out. Let's engage up here. They should be low health. It looks like I'm still losing just as... Okay, no, no. Eh, maybe. Yeah, we're losing just as many as they are, sadly. It's okay. Get a repair tick, and then we'll engage them again in the coast of Holland. Is that a heavy? No heavies. Very good. So this should be a win. I will be absolutely surprised. They're not taking damage, man. Yeah, I don't know. They're taking so much attrition. There we go. Age of Revolutions is here. Yeah, apparently they just are immune to attrition, even though it says they're taking it. They're not actually. I don't know. That's fine. There we go. We got onto Rugen, apparently. So that's good. We'll be able to integrate Rugen as well. We're starting to get some coal, baby. You love to see it happen, folks. All right. Taking so much attrition. There we go. Let's get those heavies together. Very good. Once we siege down Rugen, we'll be looking real good. Here's his light fleet. Let's go beat them up. There we go. About damn time. I feel like I'm getting screwed over in these naval fights. Got a couple more heavies on the way here in a few months. All right, 
so in this war, this is what we're taking. 51. Come again. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think we need to march these guys around and have them get onto Stockholm. I can do that. No big deal. Meanwhile, we'll wait on our galleys to get ready here. We'll launch some serious sieges over here. Yes, looks like the French got over there, which is great. Uh, I don't want to core that. I'm going to give that to Russia. These guys are just going to head on over because they do have quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get up to like 30 some war score once we take Stockholm. So that's our flagship. Le Charlemagne Retourne. I assume that means Charlemagne Returns. Where are you guys heading? The North Sea, huh? All right. Once we get these two heavies, we're going to make some make our move. Let's just take that. It's fine. We're way ahead. Last one. Grab it. Where's it at? I think it's in there already. Very good. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is smart for us. They're attacking me over here, though, with their 10 stack. So I don't know why they're doing that. They just suicided that fleet. I'm going to siege that down. We're going to get our boys over onto Stockholm very soon. Could have force marched him if I really cared, but I didn't really care. Bunch of people's truces are over. Coalition is possible. Let's attack Mantua right now. We have permanent claims on a bunch of his stuff. Okay, apparently I gotta do it that way. Fine. I have a strong feeling that these guys are not 100% health. We sunk his flagship, which is huge. Very good. Finally, 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 finally. Sunk his fleet. Scandinavia has lost 75 ships. I've lost 56. So they've lost 20 more than me. That's, uh, it's not, it's not, uh, insignificant. Let's get these guys over here. These guys are going to have to group up. Let's get a general. Head on over here. Pull the separatists. We'll handle them. Let's win this one as well. They got a disease outbreak. Of course they did. Okay. We can piece this one out whenever. I think I'll just take all that. Maybe. See, the coalition... Oh, man, this coalition is just never going anywhere. I think I just need to build up to my force limit and just say, bring it on, you know? Oops. Let's build up some of this stuff here. Let's build up some manpower here. Description centers. Everybody gets a university. So here's the deal. No matter what, we're going to have a coalition. So we might as well just take the land then, right? Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. And give me your trade power. Uh, all your money. Okay. Sh shift left mouse click does not work. So let let's take a look here. What does this say? Shift left mouse button to add as much as they are willing to accept. Okay. So here we go. Shift left mouse button. Minus 44. Yeah, okay. I don't understand that mechanic. Um, somebody explain to me, please. Right, we're in war over here. So I can't actually core that stuff. Oh, that's kind of corny. I guess 
since I'm ahead on tech, I'll just core it for him and I'll just give it to him afterwards. That's fine with me. Yeah, I'll just core it up for him and I'll give it to him. Let's have you guys protect trade in Lubeck. Something like that. I know you have a couple of heavies in there. It's fine. We're not losing sailors, so. Bring in all the money. Okay, so these guys are going to handle those rebels. And you guys are just going to march on home, I suppose. So who else is in this war? Bohemia. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we just siege down Prague. This is a speed 5 war for sure. I'm not worried about this one at all. We have some Protestant zealots for reasons. Get them out of there. Yeah, people are joining our coalition. To be expected. Like I said, I don't think it will fire. I would be very surprised if it did. Our ace in the hole is that we can take Miltech if we want to. The so coalition, yeah. Not worried about the coalition. Let's see here. Something like this. Full occupy him. Well, take as much as we can right here. And we'll just peace out for what we can take. Let's see, what do I have claims on? Uh, well, I need to take Trent so I can border it at least. Something like this. You know what? Could take all this and just release the client state. Let's do it. Let us release a client state here. Let his capital be in the mountains. Kingdom of Italy. Yeah, sounds good. Kingdom of Italy, and you shall be... Let's have a... Burgundy flag with a... Oh, that one looks cool. I like that. Let's go with that. And then you guys can just have all this land over here. Can I give him, let's see here. Can I give him, can't grant him the cores and the claims that I already have. It says I can give him a couple. Uh, I guess I can give him these ones. So I'll give him those ones then. Right, okay. So let's give him that province, that province, that province, and that province. And then grant him all of these claims down here. Turin, right, okay. And then Monferrato. Very good. Sounds fine with me. All right, cool. I think that's a good place to call for the episode. Our uh, coalition is 100% going to fire, so I think it's about time that we attack them. So, let's say here... Uh, Spain doesn't want to help me, because he's in a lot of debt. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of the classic, I think, at this point. Anyways, we'll figure it out in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, share your support, leave a like, and subscribe. Don't forget to ding the bell, and it will send you notifications when we upload. Also, if you want to check out what's going on over on the Discord or support us on our Patreon, the link's in the, in the description below. We also have other ways to support the channel. Uh, you can buy some merch if you want the Chewy CS Castle shirt you got right here. And uh, you can join the channel as a membership. All those are super helpful and uh, all of it's super appreciated. But that's all I got for you. This is Chewy Shoot and I'll catch you guys later. A very special, huge thanks to my top supporter on Patreon, Spartan Omega, as well as the other very generous people, Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Angelic, Jaren Clampett, Martin Dressel, Some Kind of Meme, Corbett Gaming, Blonde Damon, Thomas Jarden, The Bitter Steel, Joseph Catchell, RJ Pilot, Home TV, Disdain, and many, many more. Your continued support is what allows this channel to thrive, and I appreciate you very much.